Okay, here's a tip for anybody who may be considering buying an RV or who may already own an RV. Um, we just bought a 2014 Solitude Grand Design, uh, model number ST369RL. And come to find out, they run all the plumbing in these things using half-inch PEX, which is fine because PEX is a good product. But the issue comes in where they've also got some braided hose half inch braided hose or nylon hose and they've used the pex clamp fittings on that nylon hose and you just can't do that because the fittings for the pex are made for pex and when you use them on this nylon braided hose there's no bueno because the fitting when you put it in there it just swims around it's got so much room around it it's not meant for this these are for like the c-clamps so i would suggest anybody who has bought a, a rv to check the plumbing if it's ran with pex that's fine but anywhere on that behind your water control panel where they've got braided hose connecting the pex using pex fittings I would suggest changing it out because we had a blowout um, about four nights ago and I woke up in the morning and water w had ruined this entire I mean this was all full of water and there was nowhere for it to go because it was coming out back here behind the control panel and um, I have gone to the hardware store and purchased a, a few pieces of this PEX hose and some PEX clamps and some fittings. And anywhere they had this braided hose connecting with a PEX fitting, I ha well, I hadn't planned on cutting it off. I was just repairing the leaks as they came. It started off with one leak and then I fixed that one and then turned the water back on and then another one was leaking somewhere else and that happened 12 times guys I cut one fitting off cut one leak off replaced it put everything back together and something two feet away would leak when I turned the water back on the pressure I checked the pressure regulator valve it's still set the same amount which is 40 psi we are connected to the city water so I thought maybe they were like doing something with the water pressure maybe changing it making it go up but our water pressure regulator um, i've tested it it's not broken it's working so that's not the issue it hasn't gotten down to freezing temperatures so that's not the issue um this just popped up all of a sudden just out of the blue no reason we've been parked here for months now more than six months haven't moved um haven't done anything differently just pfft. the first leak one of these 90s here, uh, it was made of plastic, it wasn't brass, it actually had broke. That was the first leak. Repaired it, turned the water back on, came back in. All this white PEX where you see, it was actually this braided hose. So I've replaced all that white pipe that you see going all the way over to the water heater. And there's still some more of it. Example, here's a perfect example where they've got um, right here the blue PEX cold water connection is fine there's a PEX fitting there but connecting it to this braided hose with that PEX clamp is not I do not recommend doing that here's another one so that is the way they do it when they manufacture these things and they need to change their fucking they seriously need to change their build model because that's crap. I even went out after uh, I've got everything replaced. I just got home from work and I haven't put this cover back on because I decided pff, these things just spring leaks just up out of the blue. Like it could be any random one that is a nylon hose with a PEX lamp. All these other PEX are fine. They have not leaked. Um, all week I've been coming home from work checking it actually letting it kind of dry out too at the same time check it just because you know peace of mind past two days there hasn't been any water came home from work today 
and lo and behold there's like five drops sitting right here next to this little water detector monitor alarm thingy that we got on Amazon if it detects water then it's uh, it sounds off and the vents to the um, I guess that's just air intake vents that does lead right into the kitchen these things are 80 decibels or 90 decibels um, we'll hear them in there in the in the kitchen or in the living room if water touches these any of these little three metal feet on the bottom and they work I tested it set it down on a paper towel and let some water drip on the paper towel one drip at a time and when the water finally seeped over to one of those little metal legs that thing sounded off so they work great um, there's two of them in here I put them in the low spots but I just got home from work and I decided to check it I was gonna put the panel back on and uh, I looked down and there was three drops sitting right on top of this thing it hadn't gone off because water has to touch one of those three little metal feet at the bottom so literally sitting right underneath where the thing was leaking matter of fact it was this one right here it was leaking that leads out to the uh, water filter so yeah guys that's a major problem I wish uh, I think I'm actually gonna get on Facebook grand design forum and make a comment about that um, because that seriously I mean yeah this is a 2014 so it's not a new RV or anything but uh, if they're still doing that with the new models anybody buying these things oh man I'm a first-time RV buyer so I know now this is only supposed to be a temporary thing so hopefully in a year we'll be out of this thing but from now on in the future if I ever decide to buy another RV the first thing I will do I swear to God the first thing I will do will be inspect that water control um, closet behind it and if I see any braided nylon hose connected to PEX just from the get-go I would cut it off and replace it because like I said we've been here for six months or longer without any kind of issue and wake up one morning and uh, water was literally going halfway down to the pond down there and this is 10 acres so um, it wasn't just no little small leak so yeah another one repaired today number like fifth fucking team um, this is just some of the braided hose that I've cut off this week I've gone through two whole bags of PEX clamps I've gone through a whole bag of 90s three pieces of height which I think are four feet four feet each and that's all I've got left um, so yeah I will be going back to the hardware store buying another piece of pecs and some more clamps and uh, it's good just to have that stuff on hand because you never know when you may have another week or something may happen so guys anybody any kind of RV it's not just the grand designs anything that's got that type of hose with pecs I would highly suggest you check it and check it inspect it and change it so, hope this video was helpful. I'm getting this place put together, guys. Peace out.